there's so much I want to say about Barbie, but you haven't seen it. I'm going to try it while I'm in Missouri, but we'll see. Yeah, you know, I can get away. Going Let's again, go. going again on Friday because I want to hear you. I asked because Alexis and Mike are going to do a sleepover, and I I wanted to know if they wanted to go see it, and I didn't realize that Micah had already seen it, um, and I Alexis hadn't. She was totally down for it. She wanted to ask him if he was okay seeing it again, and I didn't know what he thought of it. She said his reply was, and she quoted Micah. Yes, Queen, that movie super hot fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Micah. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. He's grown from it's pretty good. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Florence, Peace, Content, Links, Facebook, Follows, Twitter, Comes, Good, Like Button. Today we got a video. This is called Mumbai, India's Transforming Mega City. Mumbai! India's transforming mega city. Uh, this is just goes over. Uh, it's trans uh, uh, transportation. There's like five big mega projects under construction right now. And in transportation. Like, in transportation. We saw a video about how Mumbai has to build up yeah. when it comes to housing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in futuristic cities, we've seen. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is a, a kind of goes over that if you live in Mumbai and know about these, obviously, please let us know what uh, you're thinking about these. If the yes, yes, information yes. is wrong. I didn't make the video. Just let me We're know. just watching it. Yeah. We've, we've been to Mumbai once. We spent, how many days were we in Mumbai? We were there the longest. We were, we were there, there the longest. What, six days? Six days, I think. Something like that. Love five, Mumbai. Five or six days. I yeah, would, we really love the vibe. I would love it's to a go beautiful back. city. Um, we will next time we go. Yep. Big Even things if, are happening in India's financial and entertainment capital. It's so, its, the, it's view is so iconic. It's nearing 25 million, and its land is surrounded by water making it the world's second most densely populated major city. I wonder what the first is. Major city. New York. But there's hope that a set of five you think transportation beyond projects Tokyo? that are under construction Dense. simultaneously yeah. throughout Just the, on the city island? Yeah. will ease the movement of people and goods and help position it to become a global power center by the middle of the century. This is Mumbai, the transforming megacity. Surrounded by the Arabian Sea, Mumbai, which means mother in Marathi, <laughs> local language, is the heart of the state of Maharashtra. I didn't know that, know that either. The most populous country subdivision on earth and the single largest contributor to India's economy. What was a group of islands were, by 1845, merged into one landmass through multiple land reclamation projects. Oh. But it was a turning point in American history that did arguably the most to place Mumbai on its modern path. Had it not been for the Civil War in the United States, Mumbai probably wouldn't have been as important a city as it is today. Really? That source of raw cotton for the newly industrialized England suddenly dried up due to the Civil War. Uh... Simultaneously, they managed to open the Suez Canal, which cut the journey to London yeah. to one third. So what was a 90-day journey became a 30-day journey. When you come out of the Suez and you come out of the Red Sea, the port dead ahead was Mumbai. Wow. So Mumbai just happened to be in the right place. Wow. I didn't know that. The whole of Maharashtra's rich That's interesting. culture. <clears throat> so one of the things the British brought to us in the railways, mainly to move goods from the hinterland directly to the port. And the port really grew like mad. Makes sense. Today, Mumbai's seaport handles most of the container traffic. We've been there, We've and, been there. and in that hotel. Yeah. Exiting India, creating many jobs for its residents. Ramesh Shinde commutes by train to work. At the I port. love this video so far. Oh, we're going to shipbuilding company, Mazagan Dock, building submarines. We've already built five submarines, and we're currently building the sixth. Oh, well. Wow. Don't let rich people on it. <laughs> the prospect of good, stable employment has been attracting people from across India for decades. Are you In India, we have a huge problem of people migrating to the metros. You can't prevent people from coming to the city of Mumbai. They have as much right to come here as any other Indian. You either figure out how to make things better or you vote in people who figure out how to make things better. The challenge is that the city's population has grown far faster than their government's ability to build infrastructure. And it's been happening for so long now that no matter who they elect, 
There's a lot of catching up. And to that's do. not uncommon because for a, a big popular city. LA. To try and yeah. keep up with the needs of the city. But from the 1970s onwards, we had a lot of setbacks in spending money. We had a complete lack of foresight. Same with LA. So, you know, when you reach 10 million people and your infrastructure is good for two. Yeah, yeah. And you build up your infrastructure. Yeah. And, we, and we don't people. have yeah. the train By systems the either. That is already surpassed 15 million and it's... And then there's the 110 freeway on ramps. To close the gap. Five <laughs> designed to go 40 miles an hour are happening at the same time. Mm. The first is the Mumbai we did. Metro, one of the most ambitious and important transit initiatives in history. Right now, we'll talk about it at the end. railway is lifeline of Mumbai. This suburban railway carries uh, around 9 million passengers. <whistles> the new metro network which we are creating will be carrying around 7 million. My stars, million they're almost doubling they're it. They're almost doubling. Yeah. And modernizing it too. Gigantic tunnel bore hey! machines are being used to construct eight lines at the same time through the living city. They can't come soon enough. Yeah. The existing suburban railway is completely maxed out. Yeah. Carrying three times more passengers than originally intended. Oh, jeez. Wow. Could you handle that? No. Not only is this extremely I would not go stressful, on. Yeah. it's dangerous. Around 2,000 people die every year on these tracks. Oh, my word. Conditions How? that cause constant delay. 2,000? There is no fast train, and it doesn't come on time. If the train on the central line doesn't come on time, then we miss the connecting western line train. It is difficult to get on the train for a non biker. It can get very crowded. I am a local, and I can't even get on the Virar train. The first two above-ground metro lines opened earlier this year to positive reviews. With the metro, we sit in air conditioning and travel for 30 rupees. So it is very convenient. Is it affordable? Otherwise, imagine how much money one would spend on a taxi or a rickshaw. You have to go as far as they're going? The most important arterial line will run Ooh, 33 I bet that makes the traffic even worse than it already is. Yes. Historic buildings. Oh. This is going to be the first underground metro that the city is going to uh, witness. I live right outside what is going to be an underground metro station soon. I think it's going to make traveling very convenient. Oh, that's great. And it's underground, so there Spectacularly is wonderful need. Does it stop by Shah Rukh Khan's house? Of the, city. Oh. the way the networks are being built right now, it's made connectivity so much easier and convenient. That's going to be a huge to blessing to the city. I wish we had. To a metro line, and from there... Public Directly transport. Home. I remember speaking to R.A. Rajiv. He said that while the first metro project took about 10 years, they were really hoping to make the rest of the lines quicker. And we're seeing that. We're seeing that happen in the rest of the city, the suburbs. The current plan is for 14 lines to make up a 360 kilometer network. Spectacular. It'll also help ease traffic congestion. Yeah. No. And while, emissions. Not during construction. It's very, very stressful. Clutch brake, clutch brake. Yes. There's a lot of traffic. Especially in India. It is. An driving a car is very difficult. It's and what's more difficult than driving is parking. <laughs> That's also a problem. It is wild. You all know it, living there. Mumbai's layout means its most popular areas are in its southern end. Like Bollywood, India's booming film and media industry. Many of its stars live in Bandra, a lush, upscale neighborhood. A little further south is the city's historic heart, home to government agencies, the main business district and university, luxury hotels, and famous landmarks, including the Gateway of India, mm. the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus Railway Station, and the ensemble of Victorian and Art Deco buildings that face each other across Oval Maidan. It's really pretty. However, this area is so congested that it can take well over an hour to get to the airport by car. Yeah. That's where project number two comes in. The coastal road will be a 29.2 kilometer what? expressway that will cut this travel time to just 20 to 25 minutes when it opens next year. As a civil engineer, it's a dream project. It has everything that a civil engineer can dream of, including reclamation, seawall, wow. bridges, tunnel. We've had some world records on this also. We've had 456 meters of mining in a month, which has never happened Oh, damn. The Coastal Road Project was a dream in India, and now it is being built. So there's a lot of progress in India. So it's like the uh, PCH. The project also creates 10 kilometers of non-stop waterfront promenade, 
with various green spaces That's wonderful. and will improve ease of travel to Sanjay Gandhi National Park, the world's largest tropical urban forest. Oh, wow. However, the highway will also be a massive concrete barrier that cuts off much of the seafront, replacing uh, that view with loud vehicle traffic. Uh, yeah, uh, Caution, aren't happy about that for sure. Can be found in the U.S. cities of Seattle and Boston, which recently spent billions to open up access to their precious waterfronts mm. by tearing down viaduct highways oh, wow, to yeah. reroute traffic through new... Everybody who has property Spain. along there is pissed off. Yeah, for sure. Other concerns include encouraging more car ownership, which could make air pollution right. and traffic worse. Yep. Right. That it neglects the needs of carless residents who make up a majority of the city's population. Yep. And it seems to ignore perhaps the city's biggest threat. Climate change. When you build roads which are one kilometers into the sea, you need more roads to be built to connect that. You're increasing your built infrastructure. That increases cost, that increases um, the damage that you're doing to the environment. You're yep. reclaiming your uh, seas for a this. A lot of stuff that At needs to be factored in. There is a threat of the city submerging. Yeah. We need to seriously think about whether a coastal road is really going to benefit the city. It depends on how high that road is. The line. Yeah. Are we going to see more waterlogging incidents during the rain? None of that has really been thought of. Why? Yeah, that's... When bikers call elevated highways, like the coastal road, flyovers. Huh. Okay. Another one is the Sari Worli Connector, the third major project. It will cut through the island. The swirly, so whirly gumdrops. Uninterrupted from coast to coast. This taxi driver is constantly navigating its construction. Based on conversations with his customers, he has a good idea of how this new piece of infrastructure. It will looks be like used. LA, actually. Yeah. Like a lot of the, the high roads, the high freeways. The bridge is built. The locals who have to go into the suburbs will go from below. The rest of the people will go up over the flyover. So we first had a whole series of flyovers in Mumbai, but they were all north south. So east west connectivity was terrible. Oh, okay. Kurush lives in the satellite city of Navi, Mumbai, which will benefit from the fourth project. The Trans Harbor Link is a 21.8 kilometer bridge for vehicles to quickly cross the bay-like inlet of oh. the Arabian Sea. It's like getting from city, Pinellas Park to Tampa Bay. Land. When it opens this year, it will be the longest sea bridge in the country. Damn. It is not just a transportation corridor. How do they do that? Yeah, that looks like Tampa. The engine of economic growth. So what this bridge does is, actually it brings the mainland within a distance of 12 to 15 minutes. Adding a huge land parcel to Mumbai. With the bridge in place, the fifth project makes a lot of sense. The Navi Mumbai International Airport will provide what many other global cities already have, one airport dedicated to international flights and a second for domestic travelers. The billionaire airport. With an urban area nearly twice as dense as the national capital, it is vital that Mumbai's transportation system works. So even though these five big projects have taken decades, now that the steel has been laid and the concrete poured, an even more ambitious vision is emerging. The city has transformed. We are moving towards becoming a megapolis. We are looking at something all the way to the Gujarat border in the north, to Murbad in the east, and to Mangaon on the Bombay Goa Highway in the south. Wow. That is what we've realized the city of Mumbai is going to be. Wow. And that's the Mumbai metropolitan region ultimately. But an example of the constantly evolving trade offs to continual development is Gurai, a part of the city that has remained fairly immune to its sprawl. Lying just across Minori Creek, it is only accessible from the south by ferry. In the evening, the place is totally deserted. You don't feel like you're you in Mumbai. This is a beautiful place. Hillary has seen firsthand just how fast things are changing. So people are crazy for money. Everybody wants a fast life. Yeah, everybody has some property. Before it was, there was not a single wall over here. Now since you buy the property, you construct your own wall. Hillary says he's content, making about eight US dollars a day, even though he has to spend hours driving 15 kilometers to the closest compressed natural gas pump Whoa. and wait in line each time he needs to fill up. Authorities want to build a bridge to connect Gurai and its beaches mm. to the rest of the city. They say this will give residents like him more services, 
like gas pumps. They will give you options. If you need a gas pump over here, we have to construct the bridge. To win something, you are losing something. But if, if they construct the bridge and all, the beauty of this place is going to vanish. Mm. A man grows and everything, everything will be disappeared over here. But no land will be saved. So even though his income could improve, he doesn't want the bridge. Mm. He thinks it will ruin the relatively quiet life he and his yeah. wife enjoy yeah. among the water absorbing mangrove ecosystem that helps protect them from rising seas yeah. and storm flooding. Most of the rest of Mumbai's mangroves have been completely destroyed. Nobody else is destroying the nature. We ourselves are destroying the nature and we are blaming the nature. What nature can do? Nature needs to stand still. Take care of the nature. Everything will be fine. If you play with the nature, you have to pay the fine. <laughs> if you cooperate with the nature, nature will cooperate with you. Great video. Wow. Yeah, that great is a, video. That is a great video because it it really goes over so much. Uh, one, a bunch of really interesting, massive projects that yeah. obviously is probably um, due to India's booming economy and and growth and growth and allowing them in their cheaper labor. Yeah, uh, th that's one of the reasons we can't get anything done here is because the labor is so expensive. Yeah, here. Yeah, um, but. Uh, it, it, but it's also a double-edged sword for a lot of these projects because like even though yeah it looks like all these projects would be great there's so many factors you need to look into and there's pros and cons always there's always yeah always and obviously big pros it's, and cons. it's hard for us to say anything. we don't live there right. so you need to talk to more of the locals and what they think about it are they are, right does the pro of having so much more uh access to um uh like highways new highways different parts of the city a new airport outweigh the benefit of losing good views also does it benefit people that don't have cars right <laughs> how much the, that guy is it going to take away from the natural beauty and then all the econo uh, ecological side effects that you're going to get from it? right um I, I think they should definitely have looked into the climate <laughs> ramifications it's kind of weird that if it's kind of weird they did not take that into consideration they, did, they obviously uh, that lady says they didn't <laughs> and so we're taking her at her word right um but i feel like you shouldn't do anything nowadays without looking into the ramifications. especially especially coastal yeah yeah if you're, you're gonna coastal be, you're gonna be one of the first places hit with when the proverbial shoe drops right uh, i mean it's just it's it's not a matter of if it's going to happen it's when? going to happen there's going to be an increase in the sea levels on the coastal cities yeah. and you you have to be prepared for that prospect so yeah sure coastal city build a road but you really need to take into consideration and i sadly what will what, what often happens and they alluded to it here is it's it's the poor and the have-nots that typically have no voice yeah and they're just discounted and told get out we're yeah. doing what we want but I, I i do love the fact that they are because like, i wish la would do a lot of these things oh yeah and underground like we were supposed to like if you don't know the history of la like back in the 20s we were supposed to have a underground metro system that of new york right at the same time new york was creating its everyone here was talking similarly as la began to grow unfortunately grow. uh the car companies ford and all of them at the time bought it, it out and shut it down because they thought it was going to eat into the profits they Ford. lobbied together wonderful made right? it a car city and so now we have the, like the worst traffic in the world it's really insane because for square mileage los angeles county is the biggest county in america and we have the worst rapid transit system. <laughs> um, you so, are a, it's a car dependent oh, yeah. city. It's, it's nowhere, unless you live in like West Hollywood, in the heart of West Hollywood. Right. Or the heart of- Or the heart of downtown. The downtown, North Hollywood, Santa Monica. Yeah. And you only, like your job is down there. Right. <laughs> but if it's not, you have to have a car here. You ha if you don't, you can do Uber, you're going to spend so much. And you're so. going to spend a lot of money. So really, Uber is not anything that can be used consistently by working class public, or lower. Only public transport we have is buses. Buses. And, and they suck. They suck. And the amount of time it takes, because there aren't any specifically direct lines, you almost always have to have connections. Except for the green line. So a trip by car. Example, if I make a trip by car to come to Corbin without traffic, we're doing an evening reaction to something. It takes, it takes me about... 
17 minutes. Yeah. If I were to do that same trip via bus, it's going to take me almost 90 minutes. Yeah. Um, and so I wish, like, I wish one, even though California is like the fourth largest economy in the world, and we, we do have a lot of money, uh, but in terms of what it costs, because there's a project that's been gone going for a millennia. They take so long. Making a... Uh, a bullet train from L.A. to Vegas. To Vegas. And they're doing it. But it seems like it's been taking... Forever. 25 years that they've just trying to start it. <laughs> um, and it's needed because people go back and forth from L.A. and Vegas all the time. And yeah, bullet trains... America has like two right. bullet trains. Right. And, uh, We're really, really bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I would. I wish like we had the the... the capital and the wanting to do these and Mumbai clearly saw this coming uh, and and did what they needed to do as fast as they can possibly be getting it done because the city has been growing exponentially it looks like it's pretty far along it, they, they've been killing it um so anyways if you're familiar with any of these projects obviously if you're middle or you're Mumbai, working on them if you live in Mumbai what do you think about these projects yeah uh, are you happy with them are you what don't we them? know what yeah any information they didn't give please inform us because obviously we're just this is all we know uh, and if you're there on the ground, you'll probably know a lot more and have more opinions, obviously, because it's affecting you in positive or negative ways. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let us know in any other videos we can react to down below. Just